number one, AmpReparGuy.com, also HardbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So we have another Ameritron AL811H in for repair. This one was goofed up real bad by a repair shop down in Texas. I'm not going to say any names, but that's why you have to be really careful when you send your amp out. To get it fixed, make sure whoever you send it to, it's not me, whoever it is, just make sure you do your due diligence because this repair shop really messed it up. So I'm going to go over what I see real quick and then I'm going to get to work. It's really early here. I have a lot to get done today. So this is an older one. It doesn't have the diodes on the rear boards. So I'll add them. I'll do everything else I normally do. It needs a bias mod. Assuming the repair shop put this choke in and this parasitic board in. Probably had the old style uh, parasitic setup and the old choke. So he like soldered the ring terminal to the bottom. That's not correct. It's supposed to be a spacer. Choke wasn't wound right to begin with from the factory. It happens a lot. So it'll be getting a brand new choke from Tom. I'll put the longer screw in. Fix that connection for the neutralization transformer down there. I don't know why it's off to the side like that. I don't know what's up here with the pie coil tap. So, so we'll put the LEDs on the outside of the meters. I'll put them on the inside. Switch is damaged. So I will replace that. I missed the, the wire. So I don't know why. This is all undone. I don't know if someone took the board out. I'm guessing the board was taken out. It's the wire here you can see. It's wedged behind the standoff here. So I'll also get new SO 239s. I'll ground the grids right to the metal. And uh that'll be it. So I'm gonna get to work and I'll see you guys in a bit. Lots to do. I grounded the grid connection right to the metal, one per tube socket. I had to replace the leads that... Okay, so now I know why they messed with the rear board. Looks like someone messed with the 10 meter input circuit. There are two micas in series below it and then one that isn't even connected on top of it so guessing the person before the customer was a CBR because I know the customers on a CBR and this whole thing with the tank coil makes sense now too even though they didn't do it right so I'm gonna get back to work see you guys in a bit stay tuned I added the wire for the bias mod added the string of diodes Replace the mica caps for the 10 meter input circuit. Replace two of the wires for the tube sockets. The two that are now solid copper. Non-plated. Put a piece of Teflon tube over one of them. They were just tagged in. They were just laying across the other wire where they were soldered. I can't really get there with my finger. But let's see. It was just laying across and soldered. So now it's around and crimped and it's all set so connected each grid connection one per tube socket right to the chassis compress the socket clips fixed other solder joints and also added the two gas discharge tubes all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna get back to work and i'll see you guys soon stay tuned please like share and subscribe Back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. Customer wants to see it working on 20 meters. I'll show you all the repairs I did after I'm done with this video. So 1KW slug. It's on PEP going into a bird attenuator load. I got the reflect meter over there. 10 watt slug. I will clean my workbench, I promise. So there are the settings. So 20 meters. Okay, so... Audio hello, audio hello, check, 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 about 800, 800, 800, about 800, audio hello, about 50, 60 watts or so, audio hello, 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 audio hello, 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 
Uh, audio, hello, 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 hello. Audio, hello, 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 hello. Audio, hello, hello, hello. Works as it should. Audio, hello, 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 hello. Okay, so I'll let it cool off and I'll pull the cover and show you the inside. Sorry for the squeaky chair. See you guys soon. Back with the inside of the amp, I'll go over everything real quick. So I fixed that wire issue back here. I replaced the ferrite slug for the 10 meter input. I replaced the mica caps for the 10 meter input. I tuned three of the input slugs. Replaced the SO239s with high quality ones from Max Gain Systems. I cleaned the TR slash bias relay contacts. Replaced the parasitic board. Replaced the plate choke. Uh, put the proper solder tab connection in for the plate blockers. Did the bias modification. Added the diodes to the rear board. Grounded the grids right to the metal. Added the gas discharge tubes. Tightened up on hardware. Fixed solder joints. Got rid of those LEDs in the back of the meters, put the LEDs inside the meters, replace that switch, fix the tap for the coil, just lots of little things. And uh, that's about it. Tested it on all bands and she's good to go. So if you need an app repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Websites are amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. Got a brand new set of pentalab tubes. Awesome, awesome company. So, thanks for watching. Keep them coming. Have a great day. 73.